say welcome back to another brief adventure, aimlessly wandering. This Church Street Station Railroad Company called the Orlando Dawn, mentioned in one of the other vlogs, this was actually owned by uh, Bob Snow, a uh, Florida entrepreneur. It's actually a dining car. He purchased a hotel here in Las Vegas and called it Rosie O'Grady's Good Time Emporium. And hopefully you can see that anyway. So what happened was he purchased this hotel, uh, put a lot of ornate stuff in it, tons and tons of antiques that are really cool. Hey, there you are. There I am. And you get a bird's eye peep into this. They actually kept it, hopefully you can see that, just like a regular rail car would be, with the furniture of the time as close to possible. I'm not sure if that water heater over there was part of it, but that's in there as well. And anyway, so this is a old railroad car. You can see the viewing area up there. It's quite tainted over the years. And um, they have another one over here. But this one is actually part of, there's a restaurant in the back side of this. I'm not sure what it's called now. It's been some years since I've been in here. Anyway, you can notice through there, there's another car. They actually have another full railroad car. There's a rail car in there. But this particular one is a cigar lounge. You see they got a couple windows cracked there. Some ventilation up top through that top window. Not sure if you can pick that up. But that is actually a smoking lounge. There, there's the name. Say hello to the crickets. Jiminy. So, here on the shadier side of Vegas, we've got little hidden goodness, little hidden gems inside of a glass enclosure. Glass, glass, glass. The glass is half full. Or is it half empty? Which kind of guy are you? Or gal? So, backside of Vegas, the real railroad right there is still operational, boogieing through. There's the I-95, cruising 93-95. So the backside of the Main Street Station, if you're ever here, there's the hotel. These are, uh, this is the dining car that actually was turned into a smoking lounge for a cigar bar. And then the one over there that actually was a viewing car back when it was in service is actually now just a small museum that you really can't go in. You just look through the other side. So that's it. Thanks for joining us. Have a good day. I'm trying to see where you're at, where I'm at, where others are at. Good afternoon. So that's what they turned it into. Once um, Bob Snow got a hold of the property, he went ahead and made those rail cars available to the general public, brought a lot of stuff in from, I believe it was Orlando, Florida. And, uh, you know, for here... Here they sit. For here, for here, for here, I've run out of gibberish. We're going past the loading docks. This is the not so, not so exciting side of Vegas. This is where the regular folk work, not where TV shows portray. So before I get back to my vehicle, the brand new Aimless Adventures 2 mobile, another shot of the California Hotel here on the back stride, side of Main Street Station downtown Las Vegas off of Main Street and something or other that I can't remember right now. It's all I got. Running out of steam. Gotta go. Thanks for joining us on another aimless adventure.